Is there anything more comforting than a bowl of warm soup? Mm. Especially in the fall and winter months, it's like a big warm hug in a bowl. But if you're somebody who's not interested in soups, I get you, I've been there, but I'm really optimistic that the soups we're gonna be sharing in today's video, it's gonna change your mind. I'm gonna share with you three different soup recipes today. Recipes that are amazing additions to any potlucks or festive get-togethers you might be going to or just make it and enjoy it on your own. The breakdown to each recipe can be found on the blog and we also always provide PDFs for each of our recipes just to make it easier for you to refer to while you're in the kitchen. And today's video is in partnership with Wix. They are the amazing platform that we use to create the Pickup Limes website. I'm gonna speak more about them at the end. But for now, let's dive in. The first soup is incredibly delicious, creamy. It's a total crowd pleaser. I've made it for three potlucks now and everyone always asks for the recipe. So here we go. We'll begin by peeling and roughly dicing two medium yellow onions. And we're gonna also roughly chop three red bell peppers, also known as paprika, as well as one medium zucchini, also known as a crujette. These vegetables are gonna be blended later on, so no need to cut them perfectly. And to a large pot on medium high heat, we're gonna add a bit of oil and saute the onions until they're lightly brown and soft, which will take about five minutes. We're gonna add splashes of water as needed to deglaze the pan and prevent burning and sticking. We're then gonna add two cloves of crushed garlic and two vegetable bouillon cubes, crushing and stirring until the cubes have dissolved and the garlic is fragrant, which will take about a couple minutes. Then we're gonna add the bell pepper, zucchini, a teaspoon of ground coriander, and a quarter cup of sun-dried paprika that were in oil to the pot. We're gonna let this saute for four or five minutes. And in case you're wondering, you might find sun-dried paprika in your local grocery store on the shelf beside the sun-dried tomatoes. Then we're gonna add two cups or 500 milliliters of water, bring everything to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer with the lid partially covered for about 10 or 15 minutes. At the end, we're gonna add a can of full-fat coconut milk, then blend the soup with an immersion blender until it's creamy. Alternatively, you can also use a standing blender to do this and then serve it while it's hot and garnish it with your desired toppings. If you wanna get fancy, you can decor it with some reserved coconut milk or top it with some fresh homemade croutons, sprinkle on some black sesame seeds or fresh greens like rosemary, but seriously, this one doesn't need any garnish at all. It's incredibly delicious as is. And in case you're wondering how to make some croutons, it's really, really simple. Just take some bread and cut it or rip it into little bite-sized pieces, then add it to a a pot on medium high heat with some olive oil and add equal parts of some garlic powder, Italian spice, onion powder, and a sprinkle of salt and pepper. Then mix it all together and let it cook for 10 or 15 minutes to toast, stirring it on occasion until it's crispy. Alternatively, you can also cook it in the oven instead of on the stovetop. And by the way, the soup freezes incredibly well, so I definitely recommend making more than you need and just stash some away for later. It's a light and wintry starter that won't fail to impress, I guarantee it. Next up, we're gonna make this soup that's been a favorite in our house for the last couple years. It's a gorgeous color, it's wholesome, and it's really quick and easy to whip together. For this recipe, we're gonna chop two yellow onions and add them to a pot on high heat with some oil for about 10 minutes, adding a splash of water as needed to deglaze the pan. And meanwhile, we're gonna peel and chop three medium sweet potatoes. Now, if you find that cutting your sweet potatoes is difficult and you don't have a knife sharpener, here's a quick tip I've mentioned once before. Use the bottom of a ceramic cup to sharpen Sharpen the knife in the same way you would with a knife sharpener. And of course, be careful anytime you're handling knives. Then give the knife a rinse under the sink before you start chopping. You're gonna notice it's gonna cut through your sweet potatoes like butter. We're also gonna peel and chop two medium beetroots. This is what's gonna give the soup its beautiful fuchsia color. And back to the pot, we're gonna peel and crush two cloves of garlic, giving it a stir, letting it cook for a couple minutes before adding a teaspoon of cumin powder and half a teaspoon of paprika powder, the sweet potatoes, the beetroots, two cups or again 500 milliliters of water and a vegetable bouillon cube. Bring it all to a boil and reduce it to a simmer with the lid partially covered. And when the potatoes are completely cooked through, we can then add a can of coconut milk, blend it using an immersion blender until it's creamy and smooth. Transfer it to some bowls, garnish it again with some coconut milk or pumpkin seeds or some fresh herbs like thyme or rosemary or even beetroot chips, but again, you can enjoy it plain as is. And like the previous soup, this one also freezes well and it can be enjoyed in both summer and winter months. 
For the last recipe, it's a hearty lasagna soup, which can be enjoyed as a meal because it's not just an appetizer, it's a lot more filling than that. The simmering soup kind of lets out this delightful aroma of spices, so your kitchen is going to smell incredible. As always, we're gonna start by chopping a yellow onion and mincing three cloves of garlic. We're also gonna coarsely slice and chop two cups or 250 grams of cremini mushrooms. For this recipe, we're also gonna use 200 grams of a vegan mock ground beef, but you can also use an equal amount of cooked brown lentils instead if you prefer and to a pot on medium high heat we're gonna add some olive oil and saute those onions until they're lightly golden deglazing the pan as needed for about five minutes and then we're going to add the garlic two vegetable bouillon cubes and two tablespoons of tomato paste give it a quick stir letting it cook for a couple minutes before adding in the mushrooms vegan ground beef and all the spices which is a teaspoon each of Italian seasoning dried oregano and onion powder and half a teaspoon of dried thyme as well as a pinch of salt and pepper then mix it all together and cook it until much of the moisture of the mushrooms has evaporated which might take about five minutes we're then gonna add two cans of diced tomatoes plus two cans of water to rinse out each tomato can and finally we're gonna add two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar before adding the lasagna noodles about eight sheets all together and I like to break them into little bite-sized pieces giving it a stir and letting it sit to cook for about 10 minutes or until the noodles are tender and al dente. And at the very end, we're gonna add two big handfuls of fresh spinach or about 100 grams of spinach. Seriously, it's a lot because spinach reduces drastically in volume. So give it a stir, remove it from the heat and then ladle it into a couple of big old bowls, garnish it with fresh basil or chili flakes and call it a day. It's an easy lasagna soup that tastes as glorious as the real thing without all the hassle of the layering and the baking. If you get a chance to try any of these recipes, please take a picture, tag us on Instagram. It means so much for us to see you guys creating and enjoying the Pick Up Lines recipes. Again, the breakdown for all of them can be found on our blog. And if you do head over to our website, I welcome you to kind of just take a look at the layout, the feel of the website. A lot of you have asked me who created the Pick Up Lines website, and that person was actually me a couple years back, something I never thought I was capable of doing. What happened was I actually approached a friend of mine who is a professional web developer and I told him I really wanted to create this blog, this website, but I didn't know where to begin and frankly I couldn't really afford to hire on a web developer and he was the one that pointed me in the direction of Wix for two reasons. He said for one it was completely free to try for an unlimited amount of time. The second reason was because he said that you wouldn't need any web developers. You could do everything yourself. You could embed videos, create photo galleries, they have drag and drop features. You can customize your site however you'd like and that's something I appreciate so, so, so much. You can create a professional looking website all on your own. So if you've ever been interested in creating your own online presence, you don't know where to begin, I definitely recommend Wix. So I'm gonna leave their link for you in the description box below in case you're interested. And I actually think that this might be the last recipe video for 2018, which is insane. This year has gone by so fast. But we're already starting to plan recipe videos for 2019. So if you have any requests for us, I welcome you to leave it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It always means a lot when you do. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching Pickup Lines. Signing off, we'll see you in the next video.